Hi, what's up guys? This is Vim, technical trainer from Networker Home. So today, I'm here to discuss about one kind of attack here, which is ARP spoofing here, which can be attracted by one of the protocol called ARP, Address Resolution Protocol. This is one of the protocol that we are going to use here to resolve the MAC address with the known IP address here. So now here, when the device is generated in the traffic, that time device required two information, two addresses here, source IP, destination IP, like here, they require here the MAC address as well. So they require here destination MAC address. So in that scenario, if the PC doesn't have a destination MAC address, they are going to resolve the MAC address of that destination with the help of ARP, okay? So then during that ARP, when they are going to resolve the MAC address, that time this ARP can attract here one of the attacks, which is ARP spoofing here. So that ARP spoofing, we are going to discuss here, how this ARP spoofing scenario will be there, how they can perform this attack. So we'll understand this part in this video, okay? So let's come to this my screen here. Now here, I have created one of the topology, okay? Now here I have PC1, PCA and PCB, so which are connected to the switch. So now I'm assuming here in this network itself, I have one of the hacker, okay? Now here you can see that PCA and PCB, they are having the cache on ARP cache here. On that ARP cache, we'll have information about IP address plus MAC address, which they resolve with the help of ARP. And a PCB, they are having the information about PC1 10.0.0.1 with the MAC address AA, okay, on their ARP cache. Now here, when the traffic is generating from the PCA to the PCB, so now this time your traffic will be this way. Normally, source IP 10.0.0.1. One okay, destination IP 10.0.0.2. Okay, source MAC 10.0.0. Uh, what do you say? Source MAC will be AA, destination MAC will be BB. Okay, now in the R address table that you can see here, and now a R cache that you can see, I have information about 10.0.0.2. Then this packet is generating here and it will send here from the PC to the route switch. When the traffic is racing to the switch. Switch will see, then destination MAC address is BB, that BB is connecting to which interface? Interface fast ethernet 0 by 2. Then it will forward towards the fast ethernet 0 by 2 towards the B, PCB. Now when the PCB receive this kind of packet here, what will happen? It will generate the reply packet. Now source will be 10.0.0.2 and the destination will be 10.0.0.1. Source MAC will be its own MAC address so which is PB. Distance and MAC will be its own MAC address AA. Now, by looking here at ARP cache, they found here distance and MAC as a BB here, which is mapped with the 10.0.0.1. Then it, it will forward towards the switch. When the switch is forwarding here towards the, it will uh, look, look at here, distance and MAC, distance and MAC is a BB, AA. AA is connected to which of one of the interface, interface faster than 0 by 1, it will forward towards the faster than 0 by 1 here. Okay, it will forward towards the PC. This is how your normal connectivity will be there. But here, so let's understand here. Now, so this is normal under, normal communication. When the normal communication is happening, now here due to some of the hacker is connected to this network, this hacker is gathering some of the information about PC1 and the PC2, means PCA and the PCP. Now, then what your hacker can do, hacker can generate one of the fake ARP here. When it is going to generate here one of the fake ARP, let's say here, in this fake ARP, it will say, so <clears throat> it will say one of the fake ARP will generate, it will advertise to the PCA by saying this A is one of the reply, one of the ARP is coming from the PC2, PCA to the P PCB or PCB to PCA. So that hacker tried to manipulate their ARP cache. That state, that state we call here the ARP poisoning also. Now here, the changing that polluting that ARP cache, okay? Now here what your hacker can do? Hacker can generate one of the GRP, okay? Ha hacker is generating one of the GR by saying, now this is coming from which IP? 10.0.0.2, it will say, this is coming from 10.0.0.2, then it will say MAC address is, that IP address is 10. This is coming from the 10.0.0.2, and its MAC address is CC, it will say. 
okay mac address is cc they will generate this kind of r packet from the hacker and it will send towards the pc a here once this kind of packet is receiving to the pc a what your pc a will understand pc a will understand okay now there was something change there is something changes happen to the pc b now then what i have to do i have to change my MAC address information on my MAC address table. They will replace here 10.0.0.2 MAC address with the new MAC address, which is new advertised by the hacker, which is CC. Okay, like the same scenario on the other side also, what will happen? Your hacker will generate one of the ARP, which is fake ARP, and it will send to the PC B here. Now, this time, what your hacker will do? Hacker will say here, now 10.0.0.1. This traffic is coming from 10.0.0.1 and its MAC address is again it will say CC. Its MAC address is CC, it is coming from the 10.0.0.1. Now update your ARP cache here, it will request to the PCB. Now when this kind of request is, when this kind of packet is receiving to the PCB, what your PCB will understand? PCB will also understand, okay. Now earlier case there was a MAC address which was map for the 10.0.0.1. Now I have to replace this MAC address with the new MAC address, which is CC. And what your PCB will do here, they will replace here with the PCB, uh, new MAC address, which is CC, which is new update is coming here. Now it is updated here. Now as you see here, ARP cache in the PCA also replaced with the CC. Now here in the PCB also replaced with the CC. Now onwards, if the traffic is coming from the PC A to PC B, what will be the scenario? Now, when the PC A was generating the traffic, source IP will be what? 10.0.0.1. And destination IP will be what? 10.0.0.0.2 here. And here source MAC will be what? It's on MAC address AA. And the destination MAC will be what? Destination MAC will be it will go to the ARP cache. In the ARP cache, what do you see? Destination MAC, what see, which is map with the 10.0.0.2, that is CC. Now then, this is the packet which is generating from the PC A here. Now, once this packet is generating from the PC A, it will send to the switch. What your switch will see? Switch will see the destination MAC address is what? CC. Is this your destination MAC address? CC means it is forwarding towards the which interface? fast ethernet 0 by 3 here. It will forward towards the fast ethernet 0 by 3 which is towards the hacker, not directly to the PCB. Other scenario, directly A to B were communicating, but now it is receiving from A to hacker here. It's supposed to send to the B, but it is receiving to the hacker. Once this packet is receiving to the hacker, what your hacker can do? Hacker can modify some of the files or a hacker can sniff this kind of files, this kind of your data and they will forward towards the receiver side here, okay. Now here, what will happen? It will say when it is going to receive to the hacker, then hacker is going to manipulate this packet here and then it will manipulate this packet and then it will be happen. Source IP will be 10.0.0.1, destination IP it will say 10.0.0.2, source MAC it will say CC and the destination MAC it will say your BB here, okay. This BB means your PC B here. Now then, this packet is generating from the hacker. Once it is generating here, once it is generating, once it is manipulating by the hacker, then it will come to the switch. Once the switch is receiving this kind of packet, what your switch will see? Destination MAC. Destination MAC is connect is BB. BB is connecting to which interface? Fast ethernet zero by two. Then it will forward towards the fast ethernet zero by two to the PCB. Now it is receiving to the PCB. Now PCB is again going back to reply here. When it is going to reply here, what will be a reply packet? Now reply packet will be this way, okay? So now here, reply packet. Now source IP it will say 10.0.0.2 and destination, I, destination IP it will say 10.0.0.1. Source MAC it will say, it's on MAC it is BB and the destination MAC it will say it will go to the ARP address, ARP cache here. On ARP caches, now 10.0.0.1 is mapped with which MAC address? CC. Then it will send to the CC here, okay? 
Now, when it is go going to reply back, when this reply is coming here, what will happen? It will go to the switch. And in a switch, it will see here again. What is the decision MAC? Decision MAC is CC. Then CC is connected to which interface? Faster than 0 by 3. Then it will come to the hacker PC first. When this is coming to the hacker PC, what your hacker can do? Hacker can modify this packet when it is sending to the PC1 again, PC A again. Now, source IP only what? 10.0.0.1 or 2. Decision IP 10.0.0.1. Source MAC, it will say coming from the CC. It will manipulate coming from the CC. Decision MAC, it will say PC A MAC address A A. Okay. Now it will say this way. And then what your hacker can do? Hacker can modify this packet and hacker can forward towards the switch. When this is receiving to the switch, what your switch will see again? Switch will see decision MAC. Decision MAC is AA. That A is connecting to which interface? Faucet and 0 by 1. Then where it has to forward? Faucet and 0 by 1. Now here you can see PC A is finally getting the reply. But here, what you see that packet flow? Previously, your traffic was happening here from PC1 to P PC A to PC B directly. But now, your traffic is happening here first. My traffic is coming from PC A to hacker PC. Okay, this way. PC A to switch. From the switch, it is forwarding to the hacker. Now, when the hack hacker is replying back to the switch, from the switch, it is going to the, what is say, PC B. When the reply is coming, again, same procedure. Coming to the switch, from the switch it is coming to the hacker, from the hacker it is coming manipulating the data and it is forwarding to the switch, from the switch it is finally replying back to the PC A. Now here, what you see? Every time your traffic is passing by the hacker, which means hacker has a fully visibility of the data, full visibility of the traffic which is happening in between PC A to PC B. So now this kind of your attack we call here man in middle attack as well here, my TM as well, okay. This is possible by spoofing my, spoofing the ARP here, okay. Now, this is how your man in, man in middle attack can be performed here. So, to mitigate this kind of attacks here, to prevent this kind of attacks, here we have one of the, uh, here we can uh, use DAI dynamic ARP inspection that about dynamic ARP inspection that part I uh, will discuss here in the next video. So if you found this video informative, so do like, subscribe to this YouTube channel. So I'll see you in the next video with the DAI concept. Till then bye bye.